Now, I know most of you are already familiar with the Recall 10.0 event, and there's no point in making a 10-minute video talking about an event that is obvious in the game and just wasting your time. So, what I'm going to do here is give you the most important details of the event, such as the rewards, how to farm them fast, and if the rewards are actually worth farming. First of all, you begin the Recall 10.0 event by facing Nihail, the Glassmaker. There's no specific Warframe for this boss fight, as it's just a throwing and jumping simulator. You can't use weapons, but you can use Warframe abilities. So your best bet is to bring in Aros with lots of health and some movement mods like Sprint Speed to help you evade the attacks of the Glassmaker or move from plat Platform A to Platform B. As I mentioned, the whole fight is a jumping and throwing simulator. You jump to evade his attacks, pick up the glass that he throws, and then throw it at the glass shards. After the glass shards, after the glass maker's life gets vulnerable, you start throwing those glass shards into him. Rinse here and repeat the process until he dies, and you will receive the Noggle statue of a glass maker as the reward for the first mission of recall 10 0. By the way, farming this boss will reward the Vitrika, the signature heavy blade of the glass maker, used to judge and vitrify enemies throughout the Origin system during Nightwave, Series 3. It is a heavy blade capable of emitting a blast that glasses enemies with an aim glide attack and can shatter them with slam attacks. This weapon used to be insane in the hands of Limbo in the past, as while you were in the Rift plane, you could glass enemies. But since the interaction was nerfed, I now only use it as a normal heavy blade. It does deal good damage and turning enemies into glass is quite fun sometimes, but it gets boring fast, especially when you are exerting too much effort in killing Steel Path and beyond enemies with this weapon. The second recall, 10-0 mission, is facing the Zeloid Prelate, which rewards the Pathocyst melee weapon from killing the boss and a former for finishing the second mission of the event. Now, I won't go into detail since there's no point in doing this mission other than it being a stepping stone to the final recall 10-0 mission. The Zeloid Prelate boss fight is available in the star chart and you can farm Pathocyst whenever you want. The first mission is better since you can get a rare weapon only obtainable in the Nightwave mission in the past. To finish this mission fast, just go with a Peacemaker, Mesa modded with a gas build. The whole fight is pretty simple. At the beginning, just melt the health of the boss with Mesa's Peacemaker, then proceed to Stage 2, which is basically killing the Bastion, getting the light to expose the Zeloid Prelate, melting the health of the boss, then killing the Infested which the boss is linking to heal, and then repeat. Step 1 again until you finally beat the boss. If done right, you can beat the Zeloid Prelate in just five minutes or less. Aside from the first mission, the last one of the Recall 10-0 event is also worth farming, as you will get yet another rare loot in Warframe. There are actually two, and I know most people would say that you will have the chance to get the Wolf Sledge in here, but for me, Fashion Frame is always endgame, and I have been waiting for the return of the Wolf of Saturn 6 mask. Right now, the final mission of the Recall 10-0 can give you the rarest mask in the game only obtainable in Nightwave 1 by defeating the Wolf of Saturn 6. But before we get into the details of farming, let's discuss first if the Wolf Sledge is a good melee weapon. The Wolf Sledge is the signature hammer of the Wolf of Saturn 6. In addition to its high status chance, the Sledge can be thrown by holding the melee button, similar to Glaives. This weapon deals primarily impact and slash damage. By holding the melee button, it throws the hammer in a similar manner to a glaive, which travels up to 40 meters, bounces off one enemy to hit up to a second, and damages anyone in its return path. Memeleeing while the hammer is in mid-flight commands it to return immediately. While using it as an ordinary heavy blade, the wolf sledge is good with a condition overload setup, but what I don't like is the low critical chance. Also, if you want this for the throne gimmick, then I advise you to try out the Red Crit Wolf Sledge build I have in my previous video. I have left the link to that video in the description below so you can watch it later. For now, let me show you how you can farm the Wolf of Saturn 6 in less than a minute. Most players would say that Titania is the fastest as she can fly around and just murder the Wolf of Saturn 6. On average, you can down the boss in around 42 seconds or less, depending on how you traverse from the start point to the boss fight and then to the extraction point. However, Titania is not the only option. You can also go with Ash, with a fatal teleport build to 1, shot the Wolf of Saturn 6. This is the build I'm currently using with Ash, and I'm using the Freyja Prime with this build to 1, shot the boss easily. During my tests, you can also finish this mission in 40 plus seconds, depending on how smooth your parkour is. 
After watching this video, head on to the other video about the Red Crit Wolf Sledge to have some dumb fun with the weapon. The link is in the video description. Also, I'm still farming the Wolf of Saturn 6 mask right now, but eventually I'll get it tomorrow. I'm positive that I will get it tomorrow, but for now I'll take a rest as I need to wake up early for work tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.